Hi, this is Trish from Bye Bye No House. Here we are. We've just come in with Norman into the cafe. He's dog friendly, and he's just he's going to sit here, uh, and we'll just watch out for other dogs coming in. Um, eventually, I'll relax because I've got some lovely soup coming. Here go, Normans, boy. <laughs> Here we are in the garden centre. So, a nice place to bring a dog. So, this is the indoor part. So, we can come here a lot. Hey, Mormons. It's a good boy. There's Trish here and Norman. We have come out. There's been a break in the weather because the rain has never ceased and it's been long. We've done work on leash pressure today, uh, place. Uh, he's done great duration work on place and uh, more shown us that, you know, actually going on place, I'll do it when I'm ready so he's been starting to and we want him to dig his heels in because we're not wanting him to pretend he's here for a long time we need his true nature to come out so we've done try to make that as exciting as possible to pull up his arousal so uh, we've not quite got him bouncing back and forward from place to place yet because he's kind of like no um, so just to break that up um, I find that some dogs especially males um, they tend to do this like, oh, I'm in class. So uh, I do a lot of breaking it up by coming out on a merry walk while the weather is finished. So I'm just going to do a little bit of work out here while I'm holding the camera. I hope you can watch. So what I tend to do is I'm looking for Norman to just start walking when I do and to halt when I do. And uh, I've just got him on this touch. I'm not even touching him, I'm just holding it. So I want him to follow my body, you see? So this comes from a bit of work that I've always worked with horses. Um, and horses will start to engage with you when you do lots of change of paces, change of directions, it just keeps them guessing. So I'm moving into his space here. So there's spatial, spatial pressure. Just want you to see what's going on here with the leash. That is how it's hanging. So I'm going to move him out and then I'm going to stop it. So then, oh, a bit tricky with the phone, move him round again, he'll come up behind me. So I always want him in a position slightly back from my heel so I can deal with the environment in front of us and what's going to happen there. And we just do little, you can do serpentine so you might want to move quick and then get to this point in serpentine weight and then giant slow steps and you want him to slow his pace and then move around this part of the serpentine and then stop and then change direction up the way towards the waterfalls and the castle i'm really lucky here this is literally two minutes from my house castle and waterfalls and this way, stop. And there's usually tons of off leash dogs here. Oh, not the muddy puddle, we'll get you a nice drink. And we'll go back. He's been working hard. So. 
hang here. So they start to tune in with you, wherever your body is. Uh, so, you see? Oh man! This is what we want. So, really, what we're working on with everything I do with the dog. Come on. No, he's just doing that. So, we're we'll going that way. Um, it's about communication. And I work hard at helping the dog see that as a handler, I am very relevant to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very relevant to him. So that helps him deal with all the stuff that he wants to get, that he's unsure of, or he just wants to get. He's gonna check in with me first as a handler. And uh, it'll be his dad. This is what we're gonna train him to. As we frame my mind, I'll get into that patterned work and he'll start checking in with his dad. Dad, I want to walk forward. So kind of for 90 days when he goes home, he'll still be doing what we're doing. And um, this is how we pattern a behavior. Um, it has to happen consistently. Uh, the message has to be consistent so that the, the dog isn't confused about, you know, I act this way when I'm with Trisha. And I hate your papa. I act differently with my dad. So we have to establish it here with me so he knows it inside and out. And he's happy and comfortable with it and it's just a way of being and he actually doesn't have to worry about anything else happening in his environment because I'm here to take care of that. But when he goes home to dad, when he goes home to his daddy, the same happens there. So, and this is just part of it. This is a, a there's a lot of elements of work go into this program. There's also many phases. So what they learn on day one is not what they'll be doing on day three, week five, month six, year two. You know, it's just, it's a continuous development until he really starts to tune in and read his handler. So a lot of the time you can drop the commands and I have lots of people um, who are using the e-collar the, for the communication and stimulation, which is a two and it's one to a hundred and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they just carry it with them. And they, just for safety's sake, if that other dog or the deer happens to pass by so they can communicate pretty quickly, um, because a lot of time when there's that excitement, the dog doesn't hear anyway. Uh, and really the dog's tuned in with them. And that doesn't happen, but it's just a safety measure. Uh, and why wouldn't you have it on them just in case? So they become so in tune with, with you as a handler. No, I mean, come. Good lad. And your tone of voice, and you don't have to shout or bark commands. They just, you know, in, at first we're layering with leash, leash pressure, sorry, leash pressure. We're layering with that, and we're layering with our verbal command, which should be neutral. If at any time you feel like you're losing patience, or you're becoming frustrated, don't do it. Put the leash away, put the dog, let the dog have a rest, then start. Because you will lose, you will lose that contact and communication with your dog if you lose your cool. They are not interested. To them, that's a weakness. They, they're not actually sad about you shouting at them or being told off. They don't take it that way. They just think, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? Not me. What's wrong with them? Maybe I need to take control here and keep us all safe um, so that's what happens so it's all neutral stuff everything is done that's why the, the e-collar is so great because it's so one dimensional and that it doesn't have a tone it doesn't get aggravated um, and it's just a sensation and it's consistent hey sunshine good boy so um yeah back to this so moving directions figures of eight stop halt turn directions get and don't speed it up let your dog have a chance when he's getting it right to understand that he's getting it right if you speed from one exercise to another walk sit run. the dog's not got time to say to himself in his head or her head oh i did pretty good there that's what my handler wants what my human wants right now and i'm doing okay i'm getting by here they they I mean, you know, you're in your mind, you're thinking, now I'm going to do this, now I'm going to do that. If you're barking commands at your dog and expecting them to respond like this, I mean, clearly 
there's some dogs that are able to do that, competition sport dogs, but they've been doing a lot of practice at that and they understand their handler really well and they're bred a certain way to pick that up. We just want to give our dogs time to digest the information and to feel good about what they've done before moving on to the next phase. That's really important. And it's one of those subtleties that kind of sometimes we miss. Um, but Mr. Norman here, when you do feel like you're getting a little bit like, oh, you know, I'm dragging my knuckles because I really just don't want to be in school right now doing this play thing. Then we have to break it up with some nice stuff. Something that's a bit different and freer. Come. Um, and I'll let you speak to him. He's up there. Looking all, oh, what a lovely... I mean, he's tired, aren't you? We're all tired. So we've been working hard, haven't we? It's just, it's, just, it's just one of those working holidays. Oh, and he's on my lap. Here he is, and he's, oh, yeah, handsome. Oh. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, we shall get on. Dismount. Dismount. <laughs> Go on down. Whoop. <laughs> so we'll get on with our walk and back to, we've got another nice surprise in store. Just another wee challenge for him. Whoops. Let's go, honey bunny, and we'll see if we can find any dogs to uh, walk past in a nice gentlemanly fashion on the way back from the castle. Okay, are you ready to say bye-bye Norman from Bow Wow Know How?